안녕하세요 송호진입니다. 저 오늘 영어로 발표하겠습니다. 죄송합니다. 네. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the project called the Open Source Satellite Initiative. Uh, I started this project in 2003, and I think it's still going on. Uh, it's the project about how to launch a satellite as an individual. So. In in uh, 2013 April 19th April, I was able to launch my own satellite at uh, Kazakhstan Baikonur. So it took me almost five years for me to uh, figure out all the information and who to meet, how to go through all those uh, uh, administrative and uh, legislation issues uh, to launch a satellite as an individual. And this is the uh, actual model of my satellite. It's only uh, 10 centimeter, 10 centimeter, 10 centimeter, and it's less than one, hint, uh, one kilogram. So it's a very small one. But I was able to launch this one. Uh, and then uh, the main uh, source for the information was the CubeSat uh, community. It's uh, an initiative uh, by Cal Poly and Stanford University, and it started it in 2003. So it's a program for the graduate students uh, to uh, build and launch and uh, operate their own satellite. And there are also other satellites, not like the governmental satellite. There's a, a satellite program called AMSET, Amateur Radio Satellite. So it, it's like uh, been, a, uh, I don't know, like more than 50, 60 years that they've been doing this uh, satellite uh, space program. But uh, before I launched the satellite program, nobody was able to launch a satellite as an individual. I think it's not because of the uh, technical hurdles, but I think because of the money or the lack of information. So, and probably some of you may not know, but I am an artist, so this was my art project. I've been an artist for 10 years so far, and the hurdles that uh, I figured uh, when I started this project in 2008 was the expert, expert group, like NASA people, scientists, and all those people, I thought, you know, they're going to stop me from uh, launching a satellite because I'm, a, I'm like an amateur, nobody, long hair, Asian, you know, living in some other countries, but trying to launch a satellite as an individual. And the governmental and institution and the military, because it's, the satellite program was uh, mostly done by those people. And, of course, hidden information, the key thing about the hidden information is this satellite technology is just the uh, same as uh, the military technology. They can withstand the radiation, they can withstand the uh, harsh uh, temperature fluctuation, which is totally used in uh, any kind of military uh, technologies. Uh, and also intercontinental ballistic missiles, because they go through the space area. And so in order to get even like certain information or to buy electronic components, you have to have a, some sort of like a license to get the information. Uh, especially in US, there's uh, some act called ITA, International Traffic and Arms Regulation. So if you ever work with us, for example, Russia or the Iraq, then you will not be able to get any kind of information from US side. And also about the public perception, because public perception is totally influenced by the expert group. So a lot of people are uh, blaming me about, you know, you are going to send uh, one another trash into the space. And another one, of course, money and time. And 
for me as an artist, I have also opportunities. Because if there is a huddle, then I can also make issue out of it. So for me, the most important thing was inst uh, individual versus institution, because normally it was done by institution. But what is going to happen when I launch a satellite with the help of knowledge from the internet and, and to launch a satellite? And because I think it's these days, all the knowledge is most of the know hows, and also you can get lots of equipment from eBay. And then you'll be able to do what's uh, been done by the institution for a long time. An amateur versus professional. I'm, uh, I think uh, when the amateur has a passion, then we can do more than professional because professionals are mostly uh, uh, do their jobs based on their requirements. Art versus technology, fantasy. So these are the issues that. I want to bring up by launching a satellite as an individual. So actually, it doesn't have to be a satellite. It has to be a something that has been done by the government or the institution, but it's hard enough to find information and etc. And my strategy was using open source and art. So I call this strategy. A lot of people think, you know, are maybe feeling uncomfortable when I call open source as a strategy. Because you cannot blame open source these days. If you ever know or heard about open source, it's really, really hard to blame open source. And if you, art is much more stronger than open source, I think, in that sense. Because if you blame art, you became very uneducated, you know, person. So these two has a very strong shield when it comes, uh, when I want to use it as a strategy. So I traveled all around the world to talk about my uh, satellite project uh, from uh, India to Argentina to Malaysia, US, London. And I also uh, do an exhibition nearby the San Jose uh, where there's a NASA center. Is. And I uh, deliberately open up all the information about the satellite components that I have used. And these are the components that you can get. You don't have to have a license. These components has a space heritage, means it has been to space and successfully working on the space, but it's a commercial grade components, meaning that you don't have to go through any governmental uh, permits or anything like that. You can just buy them from online stores. So it took me, this took me, you know, the longest time to figure out the electronic components that has been used in space, but you, but also you can buy it from online stores. And as you can see, I'm just making fun of uh, international traffic and arms regulation like my ass. And if I tell you I have to kill you kind of word in, uh, at the uh, exhibition. But it's really hard for them to say anything to me because I'm an artist. But I also feel uncomfortable, uncomfortable uh, using uh, open source just as a strategy because I've seen a lot of people uh, uh, open, uh, using open source as their selling points while not opening up their uh, materials properly. So. I also want to try something called very kind open source because open source is about statement. You want to open up something and it's about responsibility because if, if you say so, then you have to open it up, but not just opening up, but it's better to opening up with reasons why you do that and where you get that component instead of just giving you the list or instead of just giving you the source code. So I was thinking about, I really want to do very kind open source at the time. So I made a, some sort of like a comic book on how to launch a satellite as an individual. And some video of how uh, the satellite is working with very uh, childish, you know, um, images in uh, unprofessional uh, uniforms. And I also made a quiz show on how the satellite communication system is working and where to get the uh, 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 um, permits and what are the issues when it comes to the frequency issues 
while a lot of people want to share the frequencies, but the resources are limited worldwide. So then what could be done more if you and all of the people wants to, let's say, launch a satellite? But then I have to have, uh, make it really easy. This is the picture of my uh, communication modules. This communication module has lots of uh, uh, episodes behind it because when it comes to communication, it's all about the law. It's, you know, how people are trying to control the radios. It's because of the Titanic incidents and you know, lots of the stories going on, the Radio Act of 1912 in U.S. And it, it used to be just like uh, free information and uh, anyone can use that radios. But then when government comes into this area, then they want to control it because it also has to do lots of has things has to do with the politics and propagandas and things like that. So the, the reason why it took a very nice picture of this uh, communication module was one way to get the information about the electronic components was by using the pictures. If they don't release the information, I'm going to go into the pictures and trying to figure out what components that they have used. So actually, when you uh, zoom in, you will be able to see all the markings of the electronic components that I have used. But it was so hard to figure out what other satellites are using certain components. Uh, so I had a hard time, so I tried to uh, make it, this image as uh, clear as possible. And uh, we are going into, and then, you know, you know, this is my project. I didn't do this for the mankind or the society of human. Uh, this was just my project. And then, and then, hold on a second. Um, while I was doing this project for like almost six years, and I think I'm still doing it, I, I keep asking some of the questions by myself. I love open source because at that time I didn't know actually. And then I keep asking myself, and then I see other people doing open source project, and then I was thinking, you know, why they are doing the open source project? And how, can, how come they get like uh, budgets from certain uh, institution or the, or, or the government or things like that? Do they saying something like, you know, when they propose, they say like for the betterment of mankind, they do, uh, we do open source? Or are we doing this for money? Then I think a lot of people might ups get upset if we say so, but we cannot also ignore the money. And for the popularity, recognition, fame, are, you, are we doing the uh, open source project? And when it comes to popular open source, you know, it has to be, it seems like it has to be related to the current industries. Otherwise, you, your open source project might, might be very, very unpopular. Like, satellite project. I open it up, all the projects, but no one cares because it's about statement. It's more about statement for me. And I think it's the same thing to other people as well. And uh, yes, we can start our open source project out of frustration. Same thing, uh, similar thing applies to the satellite project because I tried to find the information, but it was really, really hard. The, the most difficult thing was how to get the rocket. Who do I meet? I was using the Soyuz rocket from uh, Russia. But uh, to me, this is just to me, the reason why I open up uh, what I uh, have done is, I think, when I think about it, I think to, to, to create more. Because if you, if I make company out of what I have done, or make uh, uh, patents on what I have done, or trying to be symbolic on what I've done, then I'll, I think, keep working on satellite project till I die. Try to protect it from other people, you know. But if you give up, if you open it up, means that it's, a, it's available for everybody, then you start moving on other project. Because you don't put much value on what you do. Then you move on, do something. Because 
this was very uh, important to me. But then here, a little thing called motivation. If I say so, then it's really, really hard to find any motivation behind it. It's the thing that I'm still working on. What could be the motivation behind the open source project? But to me, I'd say just to, to create more, you just give up what you have done. And then, this was my final question. This is very fundamental <laughs> questions, but it's just to keep bugging me all the time, you know. So we open it up to create more. Then why are we making something? For efficiency or for better progression? But it's really hard to find the definition of, it's the definition of a progression is very relative, right? We could go like really parallel. Or we could have a certain directions. But if we starting to have a direction, then we will lose all the other possibilities. But what open source is talking about is we're going to talk about all the other possibilities as well. But I also had a chance to talk in maker-related uh, communities and here at uh, Creative Commons and open source project. But when we, when I think about these questions all the time, it's, it's the question that cannot be answered. And I think it should not be answered until we, I die. Because, I mean, if I have an answer, then I think I might be really, really boring. But I don't give you much insight in, in terms of like uh, the copyright and all that kind of things. But the fundamental reason why we're opening up is like uh, do something more without reasons. But that's, I think, you know, very, uh, makes me very nervous all the time. But this is what I have right now. Like, uh, like uh, people in Jamaica is using, like, uh, when they don't have a like, strict copyright law, they were able to mix and make music. But they don't have a particular reasons, right? They're just uh, trying to have uh, fun. But whenever I go to maker fair, or not maker fair, but maker related communities or the open source communities in Korea, I figured it's all industry related. And especially IT related. There are other, you know, making things, opening up things out there, but it seems like the, uh, it's very narrowed down these days. So I, this is just my question and I hope we can just think about why are we making something and are we making something right now? So that is the question that I have. I don't have an answer. So some of the sites that I had, all the information is available, but when you go there, it's not very kind open source. In order to make very kind open source, it's going to take more time and more money to make open source as a very kind open source. So this is my question too. Uh, if you want to release the information, then you can just release it, right? You don't have to be a very kind open source, then it's going to take forever. It's going to take a lot of money in order to get illustrators, how to make you know, animated movies and things like that. But let's just open it up and then see how people are going to react and then maybe we can find another way to make it as a very kind open source. But I don't like people who just open it up without any responsibilities or the, any uh, statement, but saying that, selling that, hey, we are open source company, why don't you, you know, you know, why don't you love us? Because we are doing this for the betterment of mankind. Then I don't see the point of those people. So thank you so much. A thousand years when all our bones have disappeared And every word has been erased Still the rivers flow